I'm probably not your typical comic book fan or comic book reader, but I don't think there is a typical comic book fan or comic book reader anymore. I think there's more of a universality to it and just a broader appeal. And that's one of the things we're hoping to do through these tours is we're hoping to reach people who are the traditional comic book fans, but also there's a whole universe of people out there who maybe love DC Comics or a particular character or who are interested in New York history and its publishing history or the Marvel movies that were filmed here. I think it just can really touch a broad spectrum of people. We're at the old McGraw-Hill building uh, between uh, uh, 8th and 9th Avenues on 42nd Street in Manhattan. This is where uh, Marvel Comics number one was published in 1939. That was their original publication. And uh, Mr. Uh, si uh, Martin Goodman, the publisher of uh, Marvel, uh, brought on uh, two uh, creative types to help him uh, uh, build his empire very early in the process. Uh, Joe Simon, uh, a writer and an artist, and also a fellow who uh, became known as Jack Kirby. I began uh, reading uh, comics back in the, uh, the Silver Age, uh, back in the 60s, and I was always uh, very fond of, uh, you might say, the, the cosmic genre, as it's known today, the things that are set out in space, the science fictional sort of things. I was uh, very fond of the Silver Surfer, the Fantastic Four, uh, Captain Marvel back when he was green and white uh, before he turned into uh, red and black, although I don't mind the uniform, mind you, but uh, the, the artist who drew him after that, not so much. Behind us is the W.R. Grace building, and uh, this plays a part in the uh, Fantastic Four, The Rise of the Silver Surfer film. As you see here, the surfer was being pursued by the Human Torch at one point, and the, uh, they both go flying down the side of the building, uh, loosening quite a few windows, causing quite a bit of damage. But uh, fortunately, this is real life, so the building is uh, pretty much intact now. Uh, here we are in the main concourse of Grand Central Terminal, one of the most uh, amazing interiors here in New York City. 200 feet below us uh, right now, supposedly, is the lair of Lex Luthor. This was in the 1978 Superman film, as you might recall, Gene Hackman playing uh, the part. Uh, he had quite a fancy uh, spot down there. All the amenities one could ask for, uh, a swimming pool, uh, hired help that wasn't quite up to par. But uh, on the east side of the building, uh, seven floors up, was an artist school at one point where uh, Alex Raymond of uh, Flash Gordon uh, fame uh, uh, went to school for a while. Behind me here is the world's largest indoor globe, uh, a fitting thing for the Daily Planet building. Now we've seen only a few stops uh, here today on uh, tour number two of three uh, in my comics tour series, but there's just all sorts of other things to see in the city. The publishers, uh, where they began, uh, where they were in the golden and silver age of comics, uh, where various uh, car comics uh, artists and writers lived, um, Alfred Bester, Carmen Infantino, just a world of stuff.